Ukrainian forces attacked Russia's hold on the southern city of Kherson on Thursday while fighting intensified in the country's east. The battles came amid reports that Moscow-appointed authorities have abandoned the city, joining tens of thousands of residents who fled to other Russia-held areas. Ukrainian forces were surrounding Kherson from the west and attacking Russia's foothold on the west bank of the Dnieper River, which divides the region and the country. Russian troops face the heaviest of battles as Ukraine mounts its counteroffensive in Kherson, a senior official in Kyiv has claimed. Vladimir Putin's soldiers are preparing to defend the largest city under Russian control while Ukraine launches its fight back. However, Russia has faced a setback in Kherson in recent weeks after troops were driven closer to the banks of the Dnipro River. Oleksiy Arestovich, an advisor to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, pushed back against suggestions Russia was withdrawing and warned Kherson could witness an almighty skirmish. Ukrainian combat troops pushed Russian forces out of villages in Donetsk this week as one soldier captured a fierce firefight on a body camera. One Ukrainian soldier captured fierce clashes with Russian troops in extraordinary body camera footage. The video, shared on social media, showed Ukrainian troops during an assault against the Russian army in the Donetsk Oblast. At one point, the soldier shouts, the Russian cowards are running away from us. The tense clip also shows the Ukrainian soldier running out of ammunition as he calls for resupply from comrades. The lengthy video recorded heavy small arms fire and infantry on infantry combat between the two sides, which later results in Russians fleeing the Ukrainian village they had occupied. During the firefight, soldiers can be seen using the Milker M32, a multiple Grande launcher. This comes as Russia continues to rely heavily on imprecise shelling instead of ground forces. The governor of the Kyiv region, Oleksiy Kuleba, said Ukraine was being massively attacked by Russian shelling today. Some Russian ammunition depot was eliminated in one of the eastern directions over the past day by Ukraine's guardmen. That is according to a statement on official page of the National Guard of Ukraine on its official page on Facebook. Fighters of the National Guard unit inflicted significant losses on the enemy in one of the eastern directions over the past day. They destroyed an ammunition depot, an airborne combat vehicle, two infantry fighting vehicles, the area of personnel buildup, and two artillery tractor bulldozers which the enemy used for the reinforcement of its positions, the statement reads. Press service of Ukraine's National Guard illustrated the statement with a corresponding video. The National Guard of Ukraine has created 130 mobile firing groups for countering Russian-launched attack drones. These include not only Iranian-made Shahid-136, but also Lancet and Cub loitering munitions developed in Russia. Ukraine's armed forces are actively tracking and destroying Russian 203mm self-propelled guns in the Kherson region. In particular, recently it became known about the destruction of at least two such systems in this direction. The other day, a photo of the Russian 2S7 Pion slash 2S7M Nalka self-propelled gun appeared online, which, according to sources, was demilitarized in the Berislav direction in the Kherson region. In addition, a video of the operation of high-precision weapons against another 203mm self-propelled gun of the occupiers also appeared. At the same time, in the accompanying caption to the video, it is noted that the 2C7 Pion slash 2C7M Malka was hit in the Kherson region in the direction of Novopetrovsk, probably by a high-precision M982 Excalibur projectile. It will be recalled that since the beginning of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine, the Russian army has lost at least five of its 203mm self-propelled guns, three of them were destroyed, and one more was damaged as a result of intense firing. Another self-propelled artillery gun of this type was captured by the Ukrainian military as a trophy. Reported earlier, that Excalibur strike put a Russian tour anti-aircraft system out of order as well as published a corresponding video. We also published the first footage of the Excalibur ammunition strike in Ukraine. American howitzers effectively destroy Russian weapons on the battlefield in Ukraine. The M777 towed 155mm howitzers in the hands of the soldiers of the armed forces of Ukraine have been destroying the Russian army for more than a month. During this time, the howitzers have proven themselves as a simple and effective weapon that has a number of advantages over Soviet counterparts. Today, 
The M777 howitzers take an active part in the destruction of the Russian army in Kherson Oblast, artillerymen of the 406th Separate Artillery Brigade named after Major General Alexei Almazov told Army Inform how the American howitzer helped them liberate the region. As the gunner with the call sign Den tells, his unit has destroyed more than 200 targets in the last 1.5 months, and these are the ones that have been confirmed. Among the M777's targets are self-propelled artillery batteries, ammunition warehouses, Russian tanks and infantry fighting vehicles, and even two S-400 air defense missile systems. The last two were destroyed as accurately as possible. Both shots hit the target. Gunners speak very positively about this American howitzer, noting that it is a good example of a weapon that they would like to continue to use without returning to the old systems. Among the advantages of this howitzer are the traditional high accuracy, maneuverability, and long range. The M777 performs its combat mission quite quickly, firing five shots per minute, hitting targets at a distance of 40 kilometers. The fighters also note the ease of operation of the M777, which has technically more successfully thought out components, as well as the weight of the howitzer, which depends on how quickly the calculation leaves the firing position. The weight of the M777 is about 4.2 tons. A group of 12 Russian servicemen was captured by the armed forces of Ukraine. This became known after that. How Ukrainian military personnel published video footage of the capture of a group of military personnel. Initially, the information was considered unreliable, however, the relatives of the servicemen identified them, after which the governor of the region, Vyacheslav Gladkov, also confirmed the information about the capture of servicemen from the Belgorod region. The circumstances of the capture of a group of military personnel have not yet been disclosed, however. Obviously, that the military were captured while on the front line. A number of questions are raised by the fact of which category of military personnel we are talking about, since today it is known that at least 82 mobilized people are already in the zone of the special military operation, as reported by the head of the Russian Defense Department, Sergei Shoigu. According to the governor of the Belgorod region, he informed the ministries and in the near future the issue of the release of military personnel from captivity will be decided. So far, there are no official statements from the Russian Defense Department on this matter.